Hello darlings, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Coralie. I was really wondering what I was gonna upload because I was like, your birthday is on the 30th, maybe do something, I don't know, create something fun that I could post like right before my birthday. But let's be honest, I don't have time for like a super, super elaborate video. And so I figured what's something that I really love doing that I would maybe share a little more with you guys on YouTube. And I figured that I would do like a first quarter of the year recap of all the books I've read so far in 2022. And so I'm thinking maybe this is something that we're gonna do every three months to like recap everything that we've read. If you saw my mood board video, which I will link right here, I said that I wanted to read more books this year and I set my challenge to 15 books and we are currently at 10 books. So I don't think it's too bold of me to assume that we're gonna get through the challenge by the end of the year because we're only in March. But I just wanted to kind of rewind those 13 books. I wanted to rate them with a five star system so that we know like how we felt. And I'm gonna kind of, I'm gonna try to give you like a minute of context and explaining things that I like, things that I didn't like. I hope I remember these, I really do. Cause listen, like I tend to forget quick, but <laughs> let's see. By the way, if you guys want to know, I will link my Goodreads in the description box down below if you guys want to share books and like things like that. I don't really know how Goodreads works other than like putting like books in your want to read and then like putting them in reading and then completing reading. I'm not that great. I enjoy the exploring side of the app. I love like looking at books and then being recommended similar books. Like I love that so much. It's such a great app for that. So the first book I read in 2022 was The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. Initially, I gave it a four star rating. I think it's gonna go to a three star rating. Let me tell you why. I, I feel like the story, the story of Addie LaRue, it's um, it's kind of a woman that cannot be remembered. I'm I'm gonna try to not give too much detail about it because it's it's very central in the book. It's a woman that cannot be remembered. Every time someone like glances at her, they don't know who she is. And the problem I had with that story is that, of course, there was a lot of building of the story. Um, but I really, really hated that the story, the real story, the story we're like really following, it started really late into the book and I felt like it took quite a little bit of time to get engaged into the story of Miss Addie LaRue and I, I was just like, girl, Addie, you're supposed to be a baddie, like what is this? And I kind of rhymed, I don't know, album coming out soon. <laughs> One thing that I really loved though is that because it was jumping between like present time and like the past it was it was really easy to know like where you were on the timeline and that i appreciated so much i really like when things are chronological and hopefully thankfully i should say thankfully that's what it was and so i really felt like i was being well um i don't know well oriented in time and so i think that was a really really big like plus of the book i love the story i love the idea i just wished the present story had started way before and i felt like our character was not how do you say that in english Débrouillard. i don't know if i find like a translation i'll put it on the screen but she didn't find she didn't actively find solutions for herself and that upset me greatly i was like girl 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 you have like a superpower do something with it and anyway so i'm giving it three stars was it a bad book no i think people are either either gonna really like it really love it i in the end liked the book i didn't hate it i liked it i just felt like things could be modified so that it would fit my personal taste better next book i read was kingdom of the wicked by carrie maniscalco kingdom of the wicked <sighs> That one got five stars and it deserves five stars like woefully like it, it, it's it's not even like a it's not a pity five stars it's not like a, oh it was almost no 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 that book is a five star so basically we have a setting in Italy we have some witches that are dealing with some demons right demons um, that are like you know there's a huge death and that death is really catastrophic for our main character and basically our main character is trying to find like who killed the person the really important person right i don't want to spill anything you know so i'm not saying anything although it's like in the very beginning of the book and so um that character which is a witch the main character has to like work with demons to figure out like 
what the hell happened? Like who is killing all these people? If I say more, no. But what I will say is that I think this book has a tiny little bit of spice that is rightfully placed and not overdone, which I I love so much. Anyways, Kingdom of the Wicked gets a five stars. I would love to see an adaptation of Kingdom of the Wicked. Just saying. Now, the second book of this series is called Kingdom of the Cursed. Again, by the same author. This book also got a five star rating. Now, I'm not going to say anything about this book, obviously, because it's the second and I don't want to spoil anything from anyone. But the continuation of the story is literally, it's crazy. So many things get revealed. It's insane. The end of this book honestly floored me. And the next one, I believe we're getting it in September of 2022, which is not that much time so it's fine but oh my god it's literally the most insane it's so insane like it's so unhinged oh my god but i love it so all the kingdom of the wicked line all the books so far only two they're all five stars i love them so much by the way i completely forgot to say this this is so important my uh favorite genres of books are fantasy uh, fiction sci-fi i really like things that don't exist right so romance also i really like romantic books i really like fantasy books sci-fi books anything that is very far from reality i am so much. Next book is A Curse So Dark and Lonely by Bridget Kemmerer and the series is called Curse Breakers. A Curse So Dark and Lonely got a five stars but I am going to boot it to a four stars. It didn't do anything bad but when I compare it to like Kingdom of the Wicked it's not Kingdom of the Wicked level you know what I mean it's not that so I, I, I obviously cannot give it that but A Curse So Dark and Lonely it was a it was a really good book. It was a really good book. There's a, like a time traveling slash I would almost say multiverse traveling. They don't call it that in the book, but it's really giving like parallel universes kind of stuff. So like parallel universing universe and universes traveling maybe there's a curse obviously it's called a curse so dark and lonely there's a huge curse and people are having trouble like dealing with the curse nobody really knows like what the curse is who the curse is and we don't actually learn what the curse is until like the very end like we know it's a really bad evil curse and we only learn a few parameters of it during the time everyone's like there's a monster there's a monster we don't know what the monster looks like what the monster does except for like kill people and like we only learn that at the very end but it is such a good way of keeping the suspense and at the same time like making you like not really believe that something that bad could happen i just really really liked it the main character she has great values i have to say this girl she has great values and i respect that thoroughly now from the curse breakers series there's a hard so fierce and broken which i also read i felt like it took me a little bit more time to get into the story even though it's like the sequel because it had um we get different point of views so one of the also very determining uh, factors of this book of these books is that they're uh, point of view based so every chapter is like a point of view which i really do like that format also i love when people tell me like what to expect where to place myself i think that's really helpful and so a heart so fierce and broken great book obviously i cannot speak because <laughs> you know it's the second book but this one is full of tea like if like the first one was like T, this one is TT. Like this, this one, so much going on. There is so, so much going on. I feel like the end of that book was really, really good, right? The beginning was a little slow. It was a little hard to get into. The end was so pristine. It's literally, it's so good. It's so good. I really like the end of that book. I will say like, honestly, Bridget, you ate. You ate. Oh my god, we're only on book five and it's like 11 minutes. I'm a little nervous. Okay. Next book I read was Neon Gods by Katie Robert. It's from the Dark Olympus series. So that's the first book. How many stars did I give that one? I feel like I gave it five stars. Yes, I did. Okay. One of the TikTok book talk girlies recommended this book. On the cover, it says unspeakably hot. I'm not going to say much more on that aspect, but I have to say the adaptation of like, I love alternate universe stories. I love that so much. So if you guys don't know what alternate universe stories are, it's basically when 
um, you've got a set of characters, for example, let's take the Criminal Minds character, you know? We got JJ, we got Prentice, we got Reed, we got Morgan. Okay, let's take those four. And they're like FBI agents, right? What if I were to put all of them into like Hunger Games? But I'm not gonna call it Hunger Games, but I would put them in like a survival competition show right they would all have the same names all the same character traits but they would be in a separate environment a separate universe which would make them like act as one would predict they would act but act like differently it's i just i love alternate universes and dark olympus the whole series it's giving like the alternate olympus universe and so neon gods Neon Gods so good. It's so good. It's kind of a twist. It's like a fantasy twist on like a like a bad boy, like good girl, but at the same time not really good girl. I don't know. There is betrayal. There is death. There is uh romance. There's marriage. That was the most unexpected part I will say. <laughs> you know what? This is not in order, but um I'm going to talk right now about Electric Idol, which is the second book of the Dark Olympus. Now, although these are like following each other on the timeline in like chronological order, it's not the same characters. So this is like, it's like a sequel, but like the main character was a girl on the first one. The second character is her sister. And so there's much more tea. There's a lot of tea. This one, especially juicy. I also gave it five stars. I'm sorry, I'm like keeping track so that I can like check them quickly. This one I also gave five stars because it was excellent. The main character is like a social media influencer. <laughs> which I thought was really funny and like this is the whole idea of like alternate universes you put Olympus gods and you put them in like modern day society and that's what it gives you and I really really like that one I really like that one I haven't read Dark Olympus like number three yet I should get into that <laughs> but yeah this one this one is good there's some tea in this one girl there is some tea some people get some people almost get then I read Beautiful Nightmares. Beautiful Nightmares is the fourth book of the Fortuna Sworn series by KJ Sutton. This one got a five stars. One thing about the Fortuna Sworn series, I can reread that series all the time. I can reread it, reread it, reread it, and reread it. Actually, as soon as I'm done the semester, I'm rereading the whole four books. I have three of like the physical ones and i only have this one on my kindle right now because your girl <laughs> physical books cost money and um digital books are cheaper so i obviously cannot tell you without revealing on the three previous books but this series is so top tier to me but beautiful nightmares which is the longest book so far is so juicy there is so much going on like there are moments where you're gonna be frustrated but it's because the story is so good i am such a fan i'm such a fan of this book series it's one of my favorite book series of all time and i honestly like it's so good from book one book two book three book four and we have book five coming up i believe okay yeah i don't know when endless terrors is coming out but that's the fifth book and oh my god i'm so excited i'm really i'm so so excited then i read in the ravenous dark what story was that again I give it three stars. Now, I don't want anyone to be upset because this book was recommended like on Book Talk, obviously. My problem with In the Ravenous Dark is I feel like the story is a little dull. And I know you're probably like, girl, like if you've read it, there's there's quite a bit of action in it, but I feel like it's a little dull. The, the action is not justified. I feel like everyone is just slow. Things are happening and like, People are not reacting as fast as I would like them to. And it's not a bad story. But one thing that I'm really glad about, like, in The Ravenous Dark, which is written by A.M. Strickland, I forgot to say that, is that it's one book. And so I, the story, I feel like, wraps up really nicely in one book. And I could never see myself reading a second book of the series. So I'm really glad that it's just one book, like, one and done. Like, again, even when I read the books, like, three stars, it doesn't mean they're bad. It just means, like, I probably... It's not that I wouldn't have read them. No, I guess I wouldn't have read them. But I really, like, there was a lot of diversity in that one. There were asexual characters, uh, characters that are, like, non-binary. Uh, there were uh, characters of different, like, sexual orientation. So I thought that was really, really good about the book. And so... 
it wasn't bad it's just it was just you know i felt like it was slow i just felt like it wasn't like the pace that i liked when i read this i did not understand what was going on i promise you i did not know what was going on this is games we play by dana isali isali it's from the one night uh i don't know is it a trilogy yeah so far it's a trilogy you ever heard the phrase smut with a plot that's exactly what this is how many stars did i give it i give it four stars i like the idea it was shorter than i thought like i don't i don't know guys like when i get books i don't look at the number of pages i just except for like the fortuna sworn because i really wanted the book to be long but like i don't really look at the number of pages this was like less than 100 pages i think it's really a short story to be honest it's like all like pans out in like a few days it's like a few days of story and so it wasn't bad it was like a really really great book it was very steamy i will tell you this it was very steamy but i don't know i i felt like they were a little unhinged like yes steamy love that but i feel like it was so quick like everything happened so quickly like there was few time for processing few time for thinking um for acting you know not acting like an actor but like few time for thinking before you do you know what i mean like i felt like the characters were just like mindless and i was like no i don't like that and so four stars because it was good smell i will tell you that oh my god this is so long but we're almost almost done next book i read was the north wind uh, which is part of a series called the four winds by alex alexandria warwick and so this one i gave it a four stars four star rating i really really like this book i like this book because it was complicated i feel like each character's feelings was very well expressed and very well acted upon like no one had feelings and then all of a sudden it's like they didn't have those feelings anymore everyone had like whether they were feelings of love of hate of i don't know other feelings like sadness or like joy like whatever feelings they were people acted appropriately upon them and like the reactions that the character had were realistic quote unquote they called it an enemies to lovers fantasy romance which i love an enemies to lovers romance and so that's all so how the fortune one series started that's also why i love it and so it's just really really good it has different elements other than the enemies to lover story which i think balance everything out well but without being you know like those stories that just have way too much world building it's not giving enough like interactions between the characters this was not one of them i just loved it i loved it my vibe i loved it by the way can we talk about how great i look this book was really good. I really liked The North Wind. Which one is this? <gasps> I did read this. Oh my god, sorry. I was like, I was like, what was that book? Okay, Hooked by Emily McIntyre. McIntyre. This is also an alternate universe story where we have like the characters, like the typical Peter Pan characters, right? And so Hook, obviously Captain Hook, we know who that is, is like in there. And it's like a, it's a romance. It's a dark romance. They called it, it's a girl. If you like tea, there is tea in this book. Like this book is full of tea. It's giving mafia boss. It's giving like uh, organized crime. <laughs> there's a lot of tea. There's a lot of gossip. There's a lot of like... There's a lot of people that don't like each other i will say that and there's a lot of like there's there's a lot of like girl it, they literally described it as a dark contemporary romance not a literal retelling and not a fantasy the last book i read was incendiary it's from the hollow crown series by oof, i think it's zoraida cordova this book five stars this book is five stars i need to read the second one okay there's only a second one Ill Illus illusionary anyways this book i don't even know how to express my feelings i feel like i remember my previous books more because they've sat in my mind longer i finished this book like two days three days ago maybe this book is so good i don't know what else to say jesus christ so basically it's um it's a another universe so there's a whole character building and this one is a fantasy universe where there's the people that have like magic powers and people that don't and so the people that have magic powers are being like 
hunted you know like almost like witches but they're not witches they're being hunted and there's a lot of tea there's a lot of tea and i think what shocked me the most with this book is that in the first i would say first 30 percent of the book a really really major event hit and when that major event hit it's like it was the kind of major event that would only happen at the very end of a book or like at the end of the movie typically you know what i mean so when that happened i was just sitting there like with my girl I was, where's my kindle i was just sitting there with my kindle like girl what happened did this really happen i was like did i read that right and so that was a really really shocking part but the end of this book is so so excellent it's so powerful it's so strong it's so like it's so like i want more it's really giving like cliffhanger it's giving cliffhanger i'm for sure reading the second one i was shocked because i was like I was like, okay, so this one got a five stars. Anyways, this is it guys. My first quarter of the year book recap, let's call it that. I love reading. If you guys have any recommendations based on what you've seen or any recommendations that you just think I would maybe enjoy that you've enjoyed, please leave them in the comment section down below. I love books. I love reading and especially during school, I have like a slower pace, she says after reading 13 books. But um, it's definitely not like a really, really crazy amount of books, but it's a good amount of books, you know? I think at the end of the year, I'm gonna do a final one where I'm just gonna rate everything. Like I'm gonna put them in like an actual grid so that you guys can see, but oh, this is it guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to thumbs up this video and comment in the comment section down below your book suggestions, but also other video suggestions or things you'd like to see me do. If you guys like me, my personality, or the content I put right up on YouTube, then feel totally free to subscribe to this channel, baby. We love to create beauty content, fashion content, student lifestyle content i would be willing to create more like book reading content if you guys are down for that and um you know i basically do whatever the hell i want and my birthday is soon so make sure you watch and subscribe and thumbs up and comment for the engagement you know it would be a great birthday gift if you were to do that honestly don't forget to follow me on all my social media such as instagram twitter and tiktok i have all the links in the description box down below there's also down below some links to help out ukraine so if you guys feel like you can check that out make sure you do thank you guys so so much for watching this video and i will see you in my next one goodbye